It wasn't fair, I guess, for the government to fight over shower heads or ramps or, you know, just simple things that people get, can get, uh, like, off reserve. Jordan could have enjoyed life he had left on this earth. He could have enjoyed that. He didn't have that chance, and it was sad and that we didn't get to enjoy that kind of life with him at home. Jordan River Anderson was a little boy like most little boys in Canada, but he was born in Norway House Cree Nation in Manitoba. Jordan was born with multiple medical issues and spent all his five years of his life in a hospital. And two years, he could have been at home with his family, but the provincial and federal government were fighting who would pay the bill with home care. Knowing that Jordan had to stay in hospital because of a funding issue between a federal jurisdiction and a provincial jurisdiction in regards to formula, and when you know it's a simple thing as formula, and like if you think about formula costing maybe $30 a month, people like give your head a shake, spend $30, send them home, and we'll figure out the rest later. Like somebody pay for it. How silly things got between the uh, bureaucracy in terms of them dealing with Jordan to, to be moved from the hospital to a home, home setting. Uh, they were fighting over a, a simple sour head, for example, uh, like a, maybe $10 or $15 item. That's, that's how silly the, the bureaucracy what got in terms of how to deal with the, the Jordan. All in all, at the end of this, we had a child named Jordan who really suffered to the very end when he could have been home in the confines of his home because we had bureaucrats fighting about the cost of formula. Jordan's principle, the way we interpret it when we developed this document was whoever comes into contact with any child that, that is in need of any services that are not avail readily available on reserve, that gov government or agency pay and then uh, they can resolve the uh, in terms of if there's any expenses that will be incurred by a child, the government agencies or agencies or whatever could resolve their issues after. It's as simple as that. Jordan's principle was something that was very much needed, is very much needed even today. Uh, there are many children that fall between the cracks and it becomes a jurisdictional issue between province and the federal government. And uh, again, uh, as, as people, as leaders, as individuals, we have a collective res responsibility to ensure that we protect all children. That's a collective responsibility that we all have. Uh, it's, it states that it takes a village to raise a, chi raise a child. So the village is not necessarily just Nora House, it's, uh, it's all of us you know, in this country, Canada. Jordan wanted to go home and his mother and father wanted him to come home. In the long run, it, it broke us apart. It, it really tear my family apart, even my marriage. Just, we had to separate. Jordan and his family in 2007 really started this process in a small community, Norton, Manitoba, and that was in 2007. <laughs> Jordan had a, a really strong spirit and he was very, in a way, I guess, um, he was happy he showed it. Like he, even though he, it was hard for him to show his facial expressions and, but we still saw it in him, his, his body language and it, it just seemed, he just, he was just a happy boy. He was happy to have us. A lot of people would say like there's a lot like no hope in that child but to us he was he was our family and he was happy and he had a lot of spirit a lot of life in him.